Hope you guys are having a great day. Today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do the super popular crazy eye effect. Now I haven't seen anyone go over this yet and it's actually really easy and only takes a couple of steps. Before we get into it, this video is gonna be sponsored by my editing packs and presets. Just wanna thank you guys for all the support that's been shown on the music videos essentially. You guys are absolutely loving it. Comment below what you guys wanna see next. I do read all your guys' comments. But yeah, let's get straight into After Effects. You can see I've just got this clip here where the effect is used. Uh, I like to call it the crazy eye effect. So we're gonna go ahead and break it down for you guys. Just gonna go ahead and crop this clip and use the beginning part to demonstrate the effect. So the first of this is figuring out where you want the effect to start and i kind of wanted to start when he actually looks at the camera right here i'm gonna go ahead and command shift d and split that clip next i'm gonna go to my effects and presets and grab the bulge effect and drag that onto my clip i'm gonna go ahead and rename this bulge to left and this is going to be for our left eye i'm gonna grab this bulge center and just put the target on his left eye like this. Next, I'm gonna go ahead with the bulge height, set it to 2.3, taper radius, set it to something like 40, then horizontal and vertical, I'm gonna set these both to 75. And just like that, we've got that crazy eye. Next, I'm just gonna drag another one on. This time I'm gonna go ahead and name it right for his right eye. I'm gonna go ahead and copy all these settings, command C, and paste it on here, command V. You might have to go back and rename it. Now I'm just gonna go ahead with the bulge center and change it to his right eye. So now we've got the base of the effect, but if I scrub through, you can see that it's not tracked at all. One solution that people might come to is you could go ahead and keyframe the bulge center frame by frame, uh, but I like to automate things. So I'm gonna go ahead and track this scene. So clicking on my clip, I'm gonna go to the right side to the tracker tab. I'm gonna go to track motion. I'm gonna start off with the left eye. So I'm just gonna drag this onto his left pupil like so. This outer box pretty big and then the small one just a little bit. Next, I'm just gonna click frame by frame as it tracks his eye until we get to the very end. Now that it's done tracking, we can just go to edit target. I'm gonna go ahead and change it to effect point control and change it to the left eye bulge center and hit okay. And then we're just gonna go ahead and apply and apply to dimensions X and Y. So now back in our composition, if we play that back, you can see that it's completely tracked to his eye and it looks super sick. So now we're just gonna rinse and repeat for the left eye. I'm gonna go ahead to the tracker and track motion, drag this onto his right pupil, make the boxes bigger, and I click through the entire scene, making sure that the track is good. If tracker does end up messing up, you can just readjust it to the center of his eye. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead to edit target. This time I'm gonna put it as the right bulge center, hit okay then apply these effects to X and Y. Now playing that back, you can see we have the crazy eye effect. If you guys want, we can make it a little bit smoother by animating the eyes coming in. We can do that just by animating the bulge height. So I'm gonna go ahead and keyframe the bulge height at the effect start, and I'm gonna start it at zero. Then I'm gonna go one, two, three frames in and set it to 2.3 again. I'm just gonna go down into the effects in the left and highlight these keyframes and F9 to easy ease them. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and copy the bulge height keyframes right here and paste it on the right eye as well so that way it does the same animation and now playing that back you can see that the eyes have a nice little pop in animation and it looks pretty cool but to kind of finish off this effect i would definitely throw some transform on there i'm just gonna go right click new and adjustment layer i'm gonna go to my effects and presets and grab a transform and drag that on my adjustment layer i'm gonna go right before the effect happens and keyframe the position and scale then going one two three four keyframes in i'm gonna go ahead and zoom it into his face and adjust the position to follow. Then I think just going through the rest of the scene, as his face goes to the right and down, I'm just gonna follow his face, so that way it follows the eyes. And going to the beginning, I think I'm just gonna have it zoomed in a little bit so that it comes out. Going down into my effects transform, gonna highlight all of these in f9 to easy ease it and i'm gonna go ahead and tick the motion blur i think it looks really clean with that transform and it definitely puts emphasis on the eyes coming in obviously there's a ton of different ways you guys could go about editing this i just want to put my two cents on it that's it for this tutorial. hope you guys did find it useful again if you guys have any suggestions make sure you drop them down below i read all your guys's comments if you guys want to learn the five essential transitions you need in 2023 as a music video editor click right here i think youtube wants you to check out this down here follow me on instagram join the discord and i will see you guys in the next one later